Hey everybody and welcome back. My name is Sue and I'm from OML Embroidery and today we are going to be working on block number four of this awesome Dresden plate, kind of a Dresden plate Halloween town. Now it comes in four blocks and it's a lot of applique and stitching uh, but it's really fun to do so we're going to do the bottom right hand corner and uh, I'm going to walk you guys through on how to do it. It's really a lot of fun. So get out your scraps. Let's go. So the first step, of course, is placement for the batting. Now I'm doing the largest size, the 10 by 10, uh, because I wanted this to be big and awesome. So place your batting down and stitch it down and of course trim it close to the line and then add your fabric over the top. I'm not going to record all the trimming but you guys know how to do that by now for sure. So the fabric I picked of course is Dance of the Dragonfly fabric which is a perfect background. So I stitched it down and now I'm doing the quilting stitches. I could have done maybe a gold. I'm using black right now and it doesn't show up at all, uh, but sometimes quilting stitches are like that. So it's, uh, it's good. We're off to a good start. I think gold would have looked great as well. And now we're going to start on the applique. So of course the first step for the applique is the placement line. Now this is half a house. So when you sew everything together, it's going to match. And you have to make sure, especially in blocks, you know, all the other blocks, I guess, except for the first one, that they match up. So placement line, put my fabric down. We're going to stitch it down and we're going to trim it. And I made sure that it's the same fabric as block number two for this one. So there is a connection between them and you have to do the roof and the house the same. So now we're going on to the next applique. So same thing, placement. Look at this fabric I'm using, isn't that fabulous? Uh, of course I have lots of cool Halloween fabric, but you can do it in any colors or solid colors or anything. And uh, then we are going to stitch the tack down line and trim it and go on to the next one. So each block has two full houses and two half houses. So when you sew it together, it all matches. Now I could have done a little bit better on placement of this fabric, but I am using scraps, so you can't really be too picky about it. I didn't end up with any pumpkins in it, just kind of the tops, but you know, that's fine. It makes it still awesome. So this is the last applique and uh, it, it's the same purple again. So placement, then uh, tack down and then trim it out. And once this is done, we are going to start working on some of the details. So each of the houses have um, they have windows and you can do them any color you want. I didn't choose black because all my fabrics are really dark. I chose this really bright neon uh, yellow kind of color. It's beautiful. You saw it there. And all the windows are going to stitch out and uh, there you can see it nice and close up. The yellow stands out over everything and I love it. And then we are going to do the doors. Each house has a door and a little more detail work because the, um, the windows have design on them sort of thing. Now I've done all the windows and I'm starting on the detail work and there on this one, block number four is a pair of eyes peeking out of the windows. So I'm using metallic thread for this and it looks awesome. Absolutely awesome. So, uh, yeah, I love it. So I was going to do green, but I thought the red, the red eyes staring out would be, you know, a little bit on the creepy side, but still fun. This is a fun design, of course. And, uh, it, it's a lot of fun to stitch out too. And if you're using scraps, 
it works out really well so on each block above the houses there are detail guys and this one has a ghost and a cloud on it so i decided for this one to do the ghost white on the other blocks i did them in various shades of gray so it still looks pretty cool so this is just a matter of stitching it out and uh, it's really cute so ghosts clouds there's bats there's different kinds of ghosts and block number two has a moon applique in it which is also pretty fun for sure so just stitch away this is where you can relax a little bit and let the machine go it's going to do the ghosty dude and then the cloud and the cloud i did use gray instead of white although you know white would have been fine but i was thinking more it's like a a nighttime because of the background fabric of course you could do it uh brighter colors and make it look awesome anything goes pretty much with this um it, it's it's just a whole lot of fun to do i love it it's so much fun so we're gonna zip along through the stitching and once these are done there's still more detail work to do we're gonna start on the cover stitches now i didn't film the cover stitches for no apparent reason um, but they are going around the houses and they are all attached and it looks pretty cool there's two colors so make sure you start off with the right color so these are the doors stitching out and with this black thread and again you don't have to use black thread but with this black thread it's going to do all the doors and then it's going to do the ghosty details because the ghost has to have eyes and a mouth and then it's going to do the details on the windows now i didn't film the whole detail you can watch it when you're stitching it yourself um, lots of fun though and uh, easy to sew together you need to do a little bit of pinning to make sure everything matches but it does come together really well if you do the pinning properly and the way I do it is that I match up the corners and uh, push a pin through it right on the corner you can see the line right sides together of course and then we will um I'll, I'll peek in kind of because you have it open and line up everything so the doors match and the buildings match and the whole bit uh it, it's not too bad to do i didn't find i had any problems so now we're doing the uh roof parts and we're almost done stitching I know this is a sped up and skipped version, but it's easy to do. Now the half houses, their roofs are stitched just to make it easier to put together. But the two full houses, it's just the same thing. It is placement stitch, place your fabric down, trim it, and uh, it's easy. Just regular applique now on this one too this is uh stitching out you can see that i stitched out the um cover stitches for the houses and i chose purple and orange which is fine but you can choose any colors just make sure again that your connecting houses connect that's all you have to do for that and the cover stitches for the roofs you can decide what color you want for it uh, I did some really good placement of the spider almost in the middle of that one. And actually, if you look at the other one, it's uh, pretty cool too. So stitch away. It's easy. On this one, there's an extra detail that stitches out just before the end. And it's a spider web. And it looks really cool. It is in between the houses and i chose to use of course king star metallic thread and silver and it is a nice back stitch so it really stands out it takes a couple minutes to stitch but i think it looks really cool 
and it is stitching last because it's stitching kind of over top the houses. See how nicely that stands out. Now, if you're using lighter fabric at the back, then you can use, uh, you know, black for the spider web. But to me, King Star Metallic Silver just made it perfect. So a nice googly spider web in between the houses. I love how it looks and nice and sparkly because of all those wonderful back stitches. Isn't that awesome? And all of the other houses, except for the half houses, they also have spider webs on it. So it's kind of a spidery block. And I love how it turned out. So big spider web. I guess I could have done a big spider on one of the roofs next next to it because that would have been awesome. But I didn't want to put too many details in it because the fabric is kind of the fabric and the Dresden shape is kind of the the whole thing. Now keeping in with the Dresden shape, this is our last applique. And it, when you put four of them together, it's going to make a circle. So you do have to be careful how you match this up. And it's the same thing. Placement, um, line, put your fabric down, stitch it down. And I chose the green, so almost like grass maybe, for the cover stitches. And that's it. And once you put it together, oh, you are going to love the results. It was a whole lot of fun to stitch out. So I hope you guys uh, grab this design. It comes in all different sizes, starting from five by seven hoop, going all the way to the 10 by 10. And I hope you guys have a lot of fun stitching this out. We may or may not do a live stitch out of it. Let me know in the comments what you think. Dresden plates, super fun for Halloween but you can use any designs that you want. So thanks everyone for watching. I hope you like this video and I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye.